So anyway, we'll talk about Chasm now that I've started locally recording for YouTube. That's not a proper intro. That was a bad intro. Anyway, I, I kind of want it to be a bad intro because it's in keeping with how I cosm cosmed, how some say cosm, how I covered Chasm the first time because I covered Chasm, which is harder to say every other time I do it. In May 2000, what was it, 2013, I think, which is when they ran their Kickstarter for the game. I knew it was one of the very first Lex look at I did, like amongst the first top five, say. It was literally the first one I did before the series had a proper name, before I started any of my videos with the Taffer Now. Chasm was the first thing I covered. And it's been percolating for technically six years, because they'd already been at it for a little bit when they did the Kickstarter, but it's been five years since I covered it. And it's a metroidvania with minor, very minor roguelike elements in the sense that the levels are kind of stitched together but the the important bits are where they should be. So thank you Alana for the bits as well. So, I have not played it, it released at midnight, but I opted to hold off. Is there small letters? No. I have high hopes for this, although I have heard that it's a little, oh we can have seeds. Okay, it's a little slow to start, so we have to give it a chance. And let me know about the music volume once we're in. Yep, that's my name. Okay, Navi. That's like the Final Fantasy Tactics scroll text noise. I thought I'd find you up here. Did you fall asleep watching the knights right off in their mission? On their mission, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you're the brightest recruit this outpost has seen in some time. Soon you'll be a full-fledged Gildian knight. And I'm still here running errands for the commander. Which reminds me, he sent me to find you. Your orders are to report to Commander Sil Silksur's office? Silksur's office? You better hurry. Also, the music seems a little loud. Am I right about that? I'm not doing breaks for YouTube, no, it'll just be the whole session we're playing. See, more important than usual. I'm going to jump off the building. Oh, I thought it almost would let me there. Mm. You'd better get to the commander's mm. office. Mm. Mm. It's a weird motion blur on the jump. Punch, punch. Oh, there's a backwards dash, okay. And it presumably press down here. Anywhere. Commander, 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 you need to hear us. Oh, but we're the one telling the commander he needs to hear it. I don't have a double jump. Keep out. So that'll be a checkpoint, sure. Hmm, I can use the D-pad instead of the analog. I'll use the analog for now, we'll see. The only light of the Watcher's Tower. Yeah, okay, I get it. It's the same point. Let's see what's up the top of the tower. This is the opposite. Oh, yeah, there's a dude up here. Done a lot of action this morning, but the view sure is beautiful. Is there fall damage? I don't remember if there's fall damage. Don't think so. Gildian Oath. By the light of the Watchers, I hereby pledge my sword to the land of Gildia. I will illuminate the places where darkness dwells. My shield shall always be ready to defend those who are defenseless. I shall seek to be brave. I lost my place. I shall seek to be brave, just, and loyal for the glory of Gildia. There's a man hiding in this bed. Sorry, I can't train with you in the yard today. Yendrick says I need to stay in bed until I get better. Stop back and tell me if anything interesting happens, okay? Are you masturbating? Hmm. Oh, he's the Night Watch? That's a good excuse, but don't give him excuses. General Cyrus Tifili? Could be a Kickstarter backer. Everyone is out chasing down bandits and I'm stuck here cleaning. That's the last time I throw dice in the barracks. If you ask me, the commander's horse eats better than we do. Thought I could interact with the hay there. You look like the commander. Nope, you know the rules, recruit. 
No one leaves this outpost without the commander's approval. Take that, straw man. Using every argument I've ever had. Uh, we do still have the other end of the place to search. You're not a commander, you're a weird looking thing. Person, I mean. You come to borrow another book. Remember, even the mightiest warrior can grow stronger through knowledge. Two recruits caught gambling, both sentenced to 10 days of extra duties. We received a report of bandits attacking traders on the road to Delkath. The commander, well, you know, sent people out after them. Okay, I don't really care about the backstory of the kingdom, really. Hasn't given me a reason to yet. There you are. Go right in, the commander is waiting. Mm -hmm. At ease, recruit. I have a mission for you. There's a small mining town about three days' journey to the west called Carthas. That ass. This morning I received an urgent letter from the town's mayor. He reports that the miners were attacked by a wild beast while working deep in the mines. The last time this happened, it was only an injured wolf that found its way down there. Regardless, they refuse to go back to work until it's been taken care of. I know this sounds like a trivial matter, but we depend on Carthus for supplies and raw materials. Isn't that the name of the bad snake from Dark Souls 1? As you know, I sent the knights on a mission yesterday, which leaves me a bit short-handed. I need you to go to Carthus and do whatever it takes to get those mines up and running again. I think you're ready to become a Gildian Knight, but you must prove yourself first. Do you understand your orders? Yes, no. Do you understand the need for me to maybe tell you again if you ask me nicely or refuse? Yes. Good, head to the armory and get properly equipped before you set off for Cathus. Godspeed, recruit. Wow, your first mission. I had a feeling today was going to be your lucky day. Be careful on the road. The snowstorms are treacherous this time of year. Treacherous. Diction is important. So the armory is probably on the right somewhere. We're not allowed to leave until we're suited up. Hello, Artro. This game's voice acting sounds like it was done by one guy. Mm hmm. But now you get a mission to go on too. This day just keeps getting worse. This looks like an armory to me. Hello, Soul Lady. Rory with a, like three capitals and one small letter. Are you like eBay, but in reverse? So the commander is sending you on your first mission? You'll be needing a weapon then. Take a sword off the rack. Can I take an axe off the rack or a great sword instead? Short sword. Make sure you equip it before setting off. Just remember your training, you'll do fine. Uh, where the equipment? Aha! 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 Thank you TBC Tainted Tabwater for two years of sub with Twitch Prime. You've got Super Saiyan Blue in chat. 24 months? Who let that happen? You did when your power level rose to unimaginable levels. Okay. Up, skip, up, and a jump. I just want to see what's over here. Oh, wait, right. Yeah, this person. I guess I should tell them I'm leaving, huh? Well, oh, you get to go out on your first mission. I hear that Karthus is really cold all year round. Make sure you stay warm and. or you don't want to get stuck in bed like. Yeah, he's got a cold. But he is also masturbating. Uh, I do Discord links twice a month on Twitter, that would be the best place to get them. Depending on how quiet it is by the end of the night, I could do a command in chat as well. Thank you, Lana, for the bits! Ooh. You, you snuck in one smug, but they're all kind of falling out because the bin's already full. My cup overthroweth. Throweth? Floweth. Looks like you're all set. Make sure you have everything you need. Once you go through this gate, there's no turning back. I'm taking the commander's horse. Don't ask any questions. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Take the horse. Now. Literally only just started to get murders. I think the Kickstarter demo kind of started with him running through the snow and arriving at the village. I don't, yeah, like this scene. 
I'm not like bringing up memories from five years ago with Perfect Clarity. I, I rewatched the video I did of it. Carthus established 16, seven, uh, 672. And that's too many things. Thank you, Atlanta Kitty, for gifting a sub to Not a Guest 123. And then for Sour Slushy for two months in a row. Thank you to you both. Enjoy the free emotes. Of which we'll talk about more later. Save point. Yes. Yes, yeah, so a lot of this place is dilapidated. I see chests. Probably nothing to do here until there's actually townspeople, if I had to guess. Speaking of which, where are they? Employees only, all others are prepped. Says you. Hmm. That's a weird glow. Hmm. Hmm. Flex Farn and Drake oh. Striker, the notorious duel are wanted for the Kingdom of Gildia. Alright. Missing persons. Kickstarter backers. Gotta be, surely. Oh, we know this. These are missing townspeople we can save. Hmm. Hmm. that one. Hmm. Celebration. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Thank you, Phoenix, for the bits, and also thank you, Alana, again. The bin was looking a bit empty. Are you being sarcastic? I think the Watcher is a guilty knight. Oh, you're only a recruit? Well, I reckon I should just be thankful I'm not alone anymore. My family has been running... Carthus for generations, but it's begun to unravel under my watch. The mines have become less and less productive in spite of our best efforts. In the last effort to keep Carthus alive, my crew began blasting in search of a new vein of ore. Some sort of beast emerged from one of the new passages and the miners fled to the surface. I wrote to your outpost for help, but then a few days later things got much worse. In the dead of night, a gang of hideous creatures came up from the mine and ransacked the town. When the morning came, I finally worked up the courage to investigate and found the town was empty. Please, you must find the missing townsfolk and help restore Carthus. Take this key, it will open the gate to the mines. And please remember to report back here if you find any more. Okay. <clears throat> Wait a minute, a balloon fell here? I just realised this, this is a balloon. Yeah, the motion blur and the jump I do not get. At all. Wait a minute, I'm back on the other side of town. How did they do that? What is this game about? Well, we literally just got the setup to it there. Hmm, looks like I need an ability to get to the dynamite. I don't think we're in Carthus anymore, Total Muxy. Thank you, Alana. You didn't do the Muxy, but you did the flag. Yeah, so I can look down with the other animal stick. Can I press down? Yes, I can. I remember those worm things very well. And then these little goblin things. The goblin things I don't remember. But the worm things I totally do. And apples for HP, I believe. I like the death animation on the goblin thingies. Thank you, Not a Guest, for the bits. 500 bits, thanks for the Sibylana. Oh, there you go. Oh. I recognise Nurgle's love whenever I see it. Oh, okay. Well, I used my face to clear that one. You can attack while in there, it's just I pressed the buttons in the wrong order. Is there a map? Oh, there totally is. Nice, good. My search for King Trell may be in vain, but luckily I've discovered evidence of an ancient civilization which thrived in these mountains at least a thousand years ago. I should refer to them as the Dori tribe. Okay. It's called Backstory. I was curious if I could do that. Gonna stab you. Gonna stab you too. I wonder if there's an achievement for breaking a certain number of lights pointlessly. Troll unlocked, glowworm unlocked. I don't know what that means. Um, 
beast. I guess it's just like beastry. Yeah, I, I think it must just be their beastry entries. Money. Ding. Now, does leveling up do anything? Looks like I got more HP and more MP. I don't think there's stats to spend though. I remember you from Hollow Knight. Let's double back on ourselves just to see. So it's just a save point. That's good though. Keep in mind this is a metroidvania so more areas will open to us as we get more abilities. I assume there's a double jump. I'm not sure what else. It's the roguelike... oh we found someone. The roguelike element the game has is that the levels are procedurally generated. They're kind of like stitched together. Dungeon style but all the important stuff is in the right places. Narina. Thanks for helping me get out of that cage, my child. I'm Narina. I run the magic shop in town. I was tending my horse, Buttercup, when I was taken captive. Hope she's okay. She gets awful lonely when I'm gone. Stop by my shop and see me if you are ever in need of my services. That was 55 gold plus 25? Not sure. Aha! Luckily I landed on the soft coal. Did that frail old lady walk out of this place? She's a magic user. She magicked herself through it. Okay, enemies are taking two hits now. What the? Did that just drop fire on me? Ooh. Hmm, enemies take three. Thank you, yeah, for the bits. Hi, Flake. Hi, YouTubes. Maybe also. The new emote, which is numb face, is your avatar smug face. In no way you look smug, you're seeing something that isn't there. But, you know, whatever. Or you don't know what smug means? We have a smug emote. It's of the character who is called Smug. She is smug. Yeah, that's the one. That is how you look smug. I, I looked away so I don't I didn't see the enemy that hit me there. Like I don't know if the torches are attacking me. I can't turn torches against me. Ding! important. Leather armor. Okay, just straight up bear. Two more defense. Hmm, we're gonna get some kind of dodge roll or skid then. I'm gonna remember why is the back step. Probably what I'm supposed to be using against those spear guys. Blood bank. I remember the bats from the Kickstarter demo. Hmm, you can't backstep immediately after attacking, there's a slight pause on the inputs. So maybe that's not what it's used for. <laughs> Every so often I'm trying to double back to the right because I keep on thinking there might be... Is that a way down to the next floor? 
Is there a legend? It's our saver. Some kind of puzzle? There's a door hidden there. Pretty obvious that there is. Maybe you need bombs for that? Thank you, Atlanta, for gifting a tier one sub to Ago, Ego Sparty or something. I apologize for pronouncing your name incorrectly, most likely. Oh, it's a shortcut! I've opened up myself a shortcut. In that case, let's head back and see what that NPC can do for us. Presumably she's in here, somewhere. Thank you, Duke and Heiser, for 17 months in a row with Twitch Prime. I totally forgot at the top of the stream to do, uh, kind of, you know, the usual blurb of, hey, it's almost a new month. Your Twitch Prime might be ready. It seems I don't need to. Let me play Guess the Room. That's some kind of musician. Hmm. Maybe the magic lady has her own little store, I guess. It's obviously the armory. Oh, there she is. Uh, talk. Hello, young one. My magic shop is now open again, thanks to you. I have many spells for sale that can help you on your quest. However, I'm unable to enhance any spells at this time. I lost my book of incantations when I was carried off by those monsters. There's a time when I could recite every incantation in there by heart, but I'm afraid my memory is not what it used to be. Please let me know if you happen to come across it. Silver ring and magic knife. Uh, view it. An adorned ring forged from silver. It raises int. A spell for magical throwing knives. We had that in the Kickstarter demo. How much gold do I have? I have exactly a hundred, huh? Magic axe, magic shuriken. Warp scroll. Just kind of look what else there is. Who's tweeting at me? Not, that wasn't even a tweet at me, it was just letting me know someone I follow favorited a t picture by someone else. Ooh, that's a pretty good bell. Well, let's get Magic Knife. So it's on B. Hmm, I seem to remember being like three at once in the demo. We built, of course. Is your oxen free for real was technically 2D? Character models weren't, but the backgrounds were. That's going to be some kind of warp room. There is stuff we missed back the way, though, so I will have to go back and kind of clear it. So the throwing knife does slightly less, but obviously you've got range. Oh! <laughs> I thought I would, like, talk to you or something. You're very similar to a Hollow Knight enemy. it much easier. Oh, I jumped into this attack there. Cave Troll unlocked. Ooh, 50 gold. 50, 50. Seven more gifted subs until my Armageddon starts. Is that like 2012? Thank you for your assistance. His name is Bastin. I'm Professor Bastin of the Gildian Academy of Science. I suppose you're wondering how I ended up in that cage. I first arrived in Carthus nearly a year ago, searching for remnants of King Trell's caravan. Oh, he left the note we found. I was staying in town. I learned of a cave painting. I'm sorry, cave paintings throughout these caverns. To my astonishment, the paintings were made by an undiscovered tribe that lived here nearly 1,000 years ago. Question, how can they have lived here a thousand years ago if we're in the year 600 and something? I named them Lidori after these mountains and began to devote all of my time to learning about them. They're very interesting people, but their sudden disappearance is what captured my curiosity. 
My research was going swimmingly until one of those creatures sneaked up on me while I was studying and knocked me out. The next thing I remember is waking up in the cage with a splitting headache. I believe we have a common interest in finding out why people, both ancient and modern, keep disappearing here. The miners were last blasting on the bottom floor, so we should head down there and begin our investigation. Come now, together we can open the gate to the lower levels of the mines. Ooh. Thank you, Alana, for gifting a tier one subscription to the G Gamer Z. And then thank you for the bits as well on top of that. Have to fill now, but it was full. So they kept the enemies respawning as soon as you leave the screen. That's a very Metroidvania thing to do, so I'm not surprised. But I, I did mention back when I played the Kickstarter demo, I'm not a fan of just walking one room to the right and walking back and the enemies immediately being re like returned. I get why they do it, though. Yeah, I just have to keep on heading right and then go up and right. Bat unlocked! If that is Beastry Entry, so it really should say like Beastry Entry, colon, and then the monster name. If that's what it is. Thank you, Don Tombry, for the bits! Ooh. More Lurker blood, more, more. Yeah, Tombrey's like blood. I'm determined to get one over. Although it doesn't seem like I can do it at the right moment. No, I kind of get stuck. Wait, we've already been here? Why wasn't the map filled in? Oh, I guess the map didn't fill in because we couldn't fully explore the room. Was it Hollow Knight that had that problem as well? I played a Metroidvania where it did that. I can't remember which one it was. But if you didn't see everything in the room, it counted as not being explored, even though you technically have explored it. It might have been Hollow Knight. Wait, I hadn't come down here at all? Unless this is the same problem. Nope, didn't come in here. Topaz and a token. Alright, so if you go down and left, it's safe. If you go down and right, it's a big pile of bones. With that in mind, let's head to the right. Loop unlocked. For little orc things are kind of passive. There's something down there. Hollow Knight. Oh, it was the exact opposite problem. Hollow Knight filled the map even if he couldn't get somewhere, so sometimes you miss stuff because it did a full clear of the room rather than a partial. Partial is the way to do it. So Hollow Knight and this have both done the opposite thing, but they're both bad because they haven't done the thing in the middle. One of the few flaws of Hollow Knight was definitely its map. So down here, yeah, there's more down, but we obviously have to break these somehow. So that's not going to get filled in. Just moonwalk everywhere if you wanted to. Well, um, I don't see how to proceed. And we must have to go get something from the the guy back in the town, I guess. So that's exactly what I'll do. I have enough to buy that silver ring from the merchant at the very least. For some higher damage from our spells. Thank you, Alana, for gifting a tier 1 subscription to Pikachu's Ragnarok. Welcome back, courtesy of Alana. Enjoy your emotes again, including the new one. Which will let you... What's a good word? Incredulity? It will let you express that. That's a good word. So we headed in the area, we're just gonna go back to town, I think. Maybe he'll give us a key or something. Oh, oh god, don't stand in the poison. 
Last I checked, poison is bad for you. I guess I'm trying to do like sequential jumps. Don't work like that. What was up here? I hadn't come in here, but I can't get up here without a double jump or a wall climb. Where did I generate that one mana from? Maybe because I got hit? You can't get the game command to work in your chat. It's a Nightbot default one, but you have to tell it to be able to use it. You have to switch it on in the defaults, I think. If I remember rightly. Well, let's talk to the foreman, and then also see if we can find that explorer guy in town. Good, I'm glad Basden is alright. I used to think of him as a nuisance, but he's grown on me. No further information, just gonna go back to sleep? Sure, I'll do all the work for you, old man, that's fine. Oh, the balloon is probably his, even though he's not standing here right now. Oh, Lord Zycon, and anyone else I missed popping in? Now then, let's equip that. Oh, it raises attack as well, not just int. Didn't notice that. Good, good, brie, brie. Uh, so he's not out here. Actually, maybe he is just standing in a pit in the room, because he did say together we can open up a door, so it's possible we just have to go to the door that I said would be activated at some point. That would make sense. Let's head back in. That's why he's not out here. He is waiting for us, probably through here. And he's in here? Maybe? No? Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Not sure. I'm gonna have missed something. Ah, underneath back there. Let's see what ha that has on it in it. Ah, here he is. Now, just stand there for one moment while I lock the gate in place. I can actually do it now, follow me. I don't like the rats, they've got too much HP. Warrior achievement unlocked, I guess, for like 50 kills ish. So, as soon as they see you, they charge you. I also just like having to crawl to get them. teach you patience because they back up before attacking by GC also it's a bomb This matters. And that is incredibly generous. Thank you, Alapan, for the massive protection money payment. Your frog has told me to donate or he will repossess my kneecaps, so here you go, keep rocking, bud. Thank you. Sincerely, that is amazing. I don't know what I did to deserve that. Or how badly the frog threatened you, I guess. But thank you. This club's on you, and I don't mean that in a seal way, just in case anyone has any ideas. 
Well, normally I wouldn't use a club weapon type, but it's so much- Oh! It's also so much slower. It's like the large club in Dark Souls. Just showed an onion. I have heard that if Mafia Frog shows you his onion, one of two things happen. You either respect the frog, and I'm not quite sure what that means in this context, or you get the other onion. Oh god, it's going to make it harder to hit these things. Do I have any apples? We haven't made much progress down here, so if I have to do it again, that's fine. I'm not sure how reviving works in this. Have you missed much? We're still kind of just going through the second area, so not really. I've got a big club, or so I'm told. <laughs> I like the flying leap attack. Come up again, come up again. Hmm. I was expecting that to take two swings, not three. Aha! Back to full health. This is kind of Maz build, yeah. Ooh, another item. I want. Can I haves? Bye, Ty. Hmm. Suspiciously easy to get to. Actually, maybe you can't do this. Mm, did I just time that wrong, or can you not? Oh, I don't think you can. Hang on. Don't jump in the poison. <laughs> Maybe the extra height from over here makes it enough? No, definitely not. I'm trying to find like the magic pixel. I don't think you can do it though. Nah, nah, nah. You need a double jump or something to get that. That's why it's in plain sight. Thank you, Armred52 for the bits too. Again, I don't know why everyone is being so generous tonight, but I appreciate it. It's an excellent way to start our week. That's for sure. Oh, that's how I got MP back. You get it from lamp smashing. It's encouraging my desire to destroy. Good. You like jumping puzzles? I hope so. Ooh, an iron ingot. That'll probably be for crafting. You've got bombs. Bumps? No. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for the little bit slush rub. New game equals generosity, apparently. I don't think I could have made that jump, and even if I could, the follow up jump didn't look like it went anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> You're looking for more lurkers by filling the bin with Muxie. There's another bit you can destroy with a bomb or ground pound. platform. Ah! Don't be timed. I'm not hearing any kind of like ticking or anything. Oh, wait. I thought I heard a beep. We've just missed you so much from not streaming for one day. That's nice. I was telling Discord, but today, after doing some morning recording, I was just struck by extreme tiredness for no apparent reason. So I just I went through to my bed and Sora lay down next to me, like on it, which normally I wouldn't be okay with. But it was during the day, and I just rested my eyes for like half an hour. I think it's just hay fever being especially bad, combined with um, other general things. But what's weird is because I had just like a very light sleep, I had perfect recollection of the dream I had before, oh, before waking up. Resting your eyes 
is like generally used in the connotation of being like, yes, I slept, but it was very brief. I dreamt that I was in my grandparents' house and I suddenly felt super dizzy. And I remember distinctly thinking to myself like, oh, you've got to go get help because you're about to pass out. And I did pass out and like fell over unconscious in my dream. And then that's when I woke up mm. in real life. Mm. Dreams are mm. weird. I'm glad I don't usually remember them. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Lurkers come out to play. Yay. Thank you again for the bits though. What are you? Oh, you're a little dirk stabbing thing. Yeah, I see you've got a poker. You're basically a tombray, but in rat form. It don't matter. None of this matters. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Thank you, Phelan of Light, for the protection money. Monthly protection money will have to be partially or all up front this time. Hit him in the hurry spots. I will do. And no problem at all. Thank you. Every little helps. Mm -mm. Oh, I, I was going to say, I bet they have contact damage in the air, and they totally did. It's a shame that there didn't seem to be a way back up to Karthus from up there, because I kind of wanted to go back to cash in my gems. Although there's not really anything to buy yet. We need to find more merchants. I don't like the, the backwards dash. You can't press it off of an attack, so I don't understand the point of it, because there's a distinctly one second pause before it procs. So you can't use it to dodge, so I don't know what it's for. <laughs> Unless the input delay is not intentional, of course. Yeah, those were some doinking Tombray rats. We are probably gonna die. You're not related to Cobalt Filth. Wow! Oh hey, we've also probably reached like upward upper regions of people turning up, so we can talk about emotes now if you want. Bad kobolds. Bad. Bad bomb throwers. Bad. Yeah, one more hit will do us in and we don't have any heals as far as I remember. Next hit will kill us. I don't remember how this treats death, so I'd like to find out. Need a Sora farting emote? No, we don't. Oh, we found the way down. Is this going to take us back to the? Oh, it totally is. That's a good. That's an excellent checkpoint or you know, shortcut. Let us go back out to town. That was well timed considering I'm on 7 HP. Alright, so on the subject of emotes. I was looking at my emotes. Was that all there before? And I was thinking about. Well, one, what new one to add? Because I, I added that on my emote kind of just as a, a space filler. But in general, I was thinking. I'd like a bit more consistency across my emotes, and I'd like my emotes to mostly just be emotions rather than memes. Because I think the best used emotes for people on Twitch are ones which convey an emotion. That's why Flick Fry gets used so much. And technically, like, the frog, Mafia Frog, it gets used a lot because it's kind of conveying a threatening emotion in a goofy way, so that's why it gets used a lot. And that kind of thing I like. Thank you, Phantom Shrub, for five months in a row with Twitch Prime. Just started the next XCOM playthrough. I'm still loving it. Let's see if you still think that when you get to the play session that went really badly. There hasn't been one that bad since then, though, thankfully. So I was thinking of getting rid of the two-parter with the laughing one, replace it with a single laugh one of some kind. Get rid of the Toby one, because it's never used that much anyway, even though I like it. But it's not. If it ain't my channel avatar, or Mafia Frog, or Sora, then basically I feel like it should go. 
Although on that subject, the, the Sora one, which is like her as a super young puppy, she doesn't even look like that anymore, so I was thinking of getting rid of that one just to make space. Keep the derp one, because the derp one is funny. Uh, I'm going to go back and clear the corridor I missed. Uh, what else? Maybe replace a couple with like the same emotion, but again, trying to keep a more consistent style. I'm happy with Zeppo and Quartz art styles both being used, but just a bit more consistency between emotes. And also the ones I edited from the, the Anna emote. I kind of like them the best because it makes my channel avatar look more like me and less like anime guy with a slightly rounder, chubbier face. It also seems to make like conveying emotions a bit better. Because if you look on Twitch, like, if I if I asked you who do you think across Twitch has some of the most popular emotes, there's one obvious answer. Although I've never seen any of you lot use those emotes actually, so maybe it's not as obvious as I thought it was. I don't think I've seen any of you do them. Moon? Not the one I was thinking of. If I said panda, would that help? Yeah, there you go, not Kenzie, you got it. Admiral Baru's various panda emotes. I have seen in so many different chats. They are incredibly popular. Now granted, there's a certain level of it. They're popular not just because they convey a bunch of different useful emotions for Twitch communities. They're also a panda. So I think that's also partially why. They, he's got the, the rights locked down on a cute animal. I don't think I've ever seen a ninja emote. Does he have a emote? Oh, he must have one. He's got literally tens of thousands of subs. I've never seen one. So on that subject, I'd probably also replace the the Flick Fox emote because again, that's that was um it was Hey Felicia that threw that one together, I think, or she threw a blank one together, and I put the facial expression on it. I'd want to replace that one with one done in one of the other styles, again, to keep more consistency. And also because we haven't played Gang Beasts in like literally months and we're not likely to because it's they never really fixed it. Rock Troll. So th that's kind of like what I wanted to do with the emotes. I'd also quite like to have another, oh, a person I missed, another Mafia Frog related one. That isn't just an edit of the same one Court did years ago. <laughs> Thank the Watchers. I'm Wynn. I work in the mines searching for ore and minerals. I'm so glad the military is here to finally get some things back to normal. Wait, you're the only one? Well, you have true grit, that's for sure. I'm going to head back to the tavern. I need to get my mind off of all this with a few games. He's going to offer to play dice with me or something. I was hoping he was the blacksmith. kind of bait them into throwing and then dash in, I think, is the trick with them. There is input delay on the jump. You can't just jump, then jump again. Oh, I destroyed his projectile. See you now. play dice with him he might win again that's a joke that works better in written form can you get a recap on this game oh we can't go in there without a light you're a recruit knight sent to a mining village where they say they found a beast in the mines and refused to work when you get here you discover that they're all gone for some reason so you go into the mines to try and save them and work out what's going on, and it's uh, Metroidvania. And the levels are kind of stitched together randomly. But the key stuff is where it should be. Bosses, NPCs presumably, shortcut rooms. I'll take the damage. I'm just going back to town. Damn. 
That was a spiteful knife throw. Yeah, because this is a... No, no, wait. Is this a save room or a shortcut? Yeah, it's a shortcut. I do have 6 to 9 HP, yeah. No Mario Stomp. At least not yet. Maybe there's a boot upgrade we can get eventually. I kind of like the Amomo. Although, again, it's just the same face as the Ah one. With a more neutral expression. Oh, hey there, I was hoping to see you again. My favourite thing to do is play card games, but I seem to have lost my deck of cards. The day we opened the passage, I left my deck in a lunchbox at the works site. After you rescued me, I stopped off on the way to grab it, but it was gone. If you happen to find my deck of cards, please bring it back here and we can play a game. You already have a game to play, my good sir. Almost. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm gonna close my eyes for this last one. Alright, I'm just closing my eyes, and we're gonna go whoop, and then whoop, and then whoop. No. I feel like I've I've been grifted. Well, let's rest and save, get our magic back, and head down deeper, because when is going deeper ever meant anything bad for anybody? Why did they add the motion blur? I feel like the motion blur wasn't a thing before when he moved and jumped. I don't really see why it's needed. Maybe they felt it didn't seem like he had enough motion before? You just got off the phone with the stockbroker? Redger, do you have a stockbroker? Are they doing good things for you? Are they saying invest in cryptocurrency it can only go up? Oh, damn. No! Chat, I've got to I've got to find a way back out to town and then when I do fall and then hold left. Also I will check if there's an option for the motion blur. I turned strobes off already because I don't want any strobe lighting. Um Oh you can put on CRT effect, which is pretty fun. Doesn't look like it. If you're okay with doing that, Zippo, I'd like to see something done like that and also like a replacement for the Fox one and a single one for the laugh. Because then if we make the laugh emote single, that means there's space for a brand new one. If I get rid of the Toby one, that's space for a brand new emote. I also want to know what emotes you'd want to use. Like people were throwing around like a re one on Twitter. I don't think I have the kind of personality where a re emote wouldn't ever be used. Now, that's not to say you couldn't use it while watching other people. But I'd rather focus on things which are useful here. There's a door closed over there. Walk into my club. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you know, re. If, if any one of you here had the damn panda most, there's a re one. Critical? Critical hit. Yeah, there's a re one. Does look a little bit like someone being very into Cunnilingus, but that's the price you pay with re. Hmm, I don't think I can get over to that. And also maybe a rework of the the fabulous one somehow, just again to make it fit a more concurrent theme. Oh, I made it! Nice. Re is for the kiddie streamers, I guess. As I say, I don't think it particularly fitted my style. If I leave here, does that close again? I hope not. Oh, okay. Ground stomp. A food one. We had a rage one done by Ray a while back. Uh, again, it wasn't in a, a style that fitted the rest. 
I don't really get mad at games in a manner which would warrant it. I'm more looking at I'm more looking for emotions that chat want to give convey rather than me. Because it's more about what you want to see. Like, you all wanted a anime girl, so I got caught to do an anime girl. What are you? Again, that isn't relevant to me in any way. But it's something you wanted, so you got it. I don't like these kobolds. Ooh, venison. Nom 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 nom. Restored 30 HP. I do have a face palm, but again, it wasn't really necessary on Twitch, so it's... Oh, that's another thing I meant to mention. All these emotes that are going to be going away, and plus any emotes I've had in the past, they are all in my Discord. In Discord, you can have like 200 emotes. So anytime I retire an emote on Twitch, it's not gone forever. It's still available to use on Discord. So like the old chair one we had from that Overwatch meme, Reaper is a rubber duck, they're on the Discord. I don't like fighting the kobolds such that I'm just going to try and walk past them <laughs> until I get a stronger weapon or more defense. I think I need to kill these though because I haven't got the journal entry for them yet. I don't know what that word means, Zeppo. And then Valinar suggested a lewd one. Lewd ones aren't allowed on Twitch. Remember they got rid of all the ones that even remotely looked like butts, but then they kind of left all the orgasm faces for some reason? Because apparently that's okay, but butts aren't. I don't pretend to understand the way Twitch works. There's got to be something over here. Oh. Uh, hmm. Okay, we'll try left first then. It's the face enemy girls make when they're satisfied. You feel fortunate. No, I don't. Not after reading that, I don't. You know, Kurt did do another emote of Smug. He did one of her doing the Think emote but he said he would rather keep that one for himself. So that is why I've never used it. I respected his wishes. Let's try up the way first. Hmm. I have no idea which way the right way is, so I will just... Get me over here. Oh, you can just go in that, huh? <laughs> Well, aren't we special? Hmm. Three damage to get that. I missed it. Six damage to get that. Yoink. No. Not the kobolds. Go away. I can't fight you. I'm not very good at it. Yeah, we're getting more gold drops. That's what it's doing. Gotta wonder what's down the bottom of that room. How come they go up a jump, but I don't? Hmm, where is a safe room more likely to be? Oh, thank you for that carrot. What is this, dead cells? Dizzy one with cartoon eyes? I could see that kind of working for, like, if I've missed something obvious or general state of confusion that I can sometimes get in. Also, if I miss one that people like to send off, keep talking about it so I see it, because I'm obviously trying to keep some forward momentum here in the game. Oh, found Mr. Man again. The passageway the miners opened is just ahead, but before you continue on, perhaps a history lesson is in order. Really? Thank you, Elena, for the more bits. Zeppel's mean he called me a nobody. How dare you? Oh. 
Oh, is it because he said nobody uses it? What mode did he say nobody uses? The Lodori believed that spirits of animals influenced every aspect of their life. However, at some point they began to worship a strange demigod called... Hang on. Thank you, Ratava611, for four months in a row and for giving me a break before I have to try and pronounce this name. Zuta Ulak. That's what we're going to go with. Zuta Ulak. They believed this Ulak controlled an army of monsters, monstrous minions, sorry, who would herald the Age of Darkness. The symbol is what led the Dori. Oh, hang on, this symbol is what the Dori used to represent Ulak. It is also the last evidence I have been able to find of the tribe before they vanished without a trace. What could have happened to them? Could this Ulak be connected to the monsters and the disappearances? No, that's unrelated. The answers we seek must lie beyond the passage ahead. I will wait here until you've cleared the way. Does that mean there's a boss? I'd like to save if there's a boss. That's got to be warning there's a boss, so let's hope there's like a safe room or a shortcut opening thing up here. Ah. Well, that's a full heal, and it's a save point, so if I die, that's not too bad. We can give it a stab. Or a club, as the case may be. Now, if this is the same as in the Kickstarter demo, it's like a wolf thing? Yeah. Okay, so after he attacks, he kind of stands still for a few seconds. Okay. I'll just go for two. Oh, he was delayed there. Critical hit! He did. I feel like those rocks should have hit you there. Wall, hit twice. Oh, okay, he's changed pattern. Oh, he's faster actually. It's because he's almost dead. Ow. In a second. Ooh, that was so. Oh, that was a Wendigo. That was so close. Turned to dust. Ooh. Max HP plus three. Thank you, Lana, for the bits. <laughs> a flick, milady. Mmm. Astounding work. Never in all my life have I seen such a skilled fighter. With my brains and your brawn, we may just have a chance of making a bait of, sorry, I read that wrong, of getting to the bottom of this. Now let's hurry, time is of the essence. Bone pile? Bone pile? Nope. Okay, so he blew away through here and it's got that eye on it. There is areas we missed that don't necessarily need a power increase, but let's keep going anyway. I might have missed an NPC, mind you. <laughs> you defeated! You know what? A lurker emote for all the lurkers who get given gift subs is actually not a bad idea. You'd have to be very careful it doesn't cross the line to look like some kind of like voyeur pervert <laughs> emote though. Hello Chemical Rad, I just got to the second area upon beating the first boss. So this is also new to me because this, the Kickstarter demo ended after you killed the first boss. I really would like to find a shortcut back to town, though. Oh, hello. Hey, that was my platform, you old shit. Hang on, can I leave and come back and it's back? Nope. This one didn't break. We can use it for when it gets too lewd. If you're kind of like watching lewdness happen and not indulging in it, that could work for that too. No, we, no, we can't call it Flick Pervert. Okay. 
learning. Hello, zombie. Stay back. I don't have a shotgun. I've got a club. Ow. This is going to break as soon as I stand on it. Oh yeah, like my avatar under a blanket. That would be a nice idea for a lurk one. They wouldn't be as creepy as like staring round from a corner or something. Or what about there's a there's a my hair my my hero my hero academia meme of the the creepy self insert by the author when they're showing off their rooms and he kind of beckons the girls to come have a look at his real creepily like. If you're parodying that magic lamp. No. That might be a fun way to do it. It's a it's a hand. Oh, wall climbing? It's gotta be wall climbing. Press against the ledge while falling to grab it. Only certain ledges. Pre I said press against the wall, right? Do I need to equip it? It said press, no, it said, yeah, it said press against the wall when jumping to bounce off it, right? Did I misread the, the toe tip? Press against the ledge while falling to grab it. Oh, I see, it only means it's not a, a, a wall climb. It's a ledge grab, it's slightly different. Hello, Shiro. Shiro, you're aware I was doing the Fortnite meme when I replied to you today, right? Because I wasn't sure if you, you knew. Because I was recording at the time, so I was creating a bit with my audience. The way your character is holding the ledge looks very badass. Very Spider-Man-like. On that subject, I recorded a Gungeon run today, and I'm not saying I got the camera, but I am saying I took more pictures of Spider-Man than have ever been taken, ever. Wait, this is backtracked. Yeah, okay. Do we want to go back? Yes, because now we can make it across the gap the old guy was at. I have not seen Infinity War yet, I'll be seeing it when it's out on Blu-ray. Which got delayed, because it was meant to be out in August, but I got an email from Amazon saying, Hey, your pre-order's been delayed till September. Oh, shortcut, shortcut. It's got to be a shortcut. Yeah, it's a shortcut room, and that's going to link back to the first era. They do shortcuts really well in this. Portal open. There we go, that's very good. Sorry, I mean very good. I don't Fortnite meme, it was 2am, I had vodka in my system and I didn't get it. There's a Fortnite meme which is just build lol, when anyone ever complains about anything in the game you're supposed to reply just build lol. So when you replied to me what's the cure for insomnia, I said to him just sleep lol. And granted if you don't know the meme, it would come across as very very insulting. <laughs> and I did say that in the... In the narration for the episode, I was like, if he isn't familiar with this, he could take that with quite a bit of offence. Then I also mused that if anyone else kind of joined in, I'd still have to stick with the bit. So if someone said, like, oh, I've been feeling depressed, what's your advice? I'd have to reply, just be happy, lol. <laughs> it wouldn't have went down well. Alright, so we can get some more, we can get better armour. Ooh, worse defence but more attack. Probably just go for the helmet because it's straight up better. It's probably straight up better because I don't have a hat, yeah. Okay, it doesn't change what our character looks like. I was expecting that, but so. No, we can't go full weeb yet. I need to improve my stats. I also want to go back to floor two and... Well, one, fall down the shaft again to get that chest I missed, and two, check those last few areas because I think I missed an NPC. 
So we don't want to go back through there yet. We want to go back through here. My body keeps eating itself. How can I stop it? Just be healthy, lol. Yeah, like that. Hold left, hold left, hold left, hold left, hold left. Aha! Ruby, tart, grapes and gold. Trinkets and baubles. Wait a minute, why does that look like that does on the map? I probably should have went and checked the rest of the floor first because now I can't get back until I go back through the shortcut again. That's okay. <laughs> you said shaft. Yes, I did. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. It's okay, we can push our way through. Actually, no, this is the right. No, that's to the catacombs. Yeah, like over there to the right, there's a, a whole bit I missed, apparently. We're still doing the same damage, though. But hopefully we're taking less hits from the nasties. See you now! Oh no, there is bits I missed here too. That's okay, we can explore those. Oh, you're both in for now. He was doing 10 as opposed to 14, so yeah, there's more defense involved now. Was there any more especially popular ideas thrown around for emotes? Emote emotions? Yeah, the soundtrack's good so far. So, bottom right of this room. We only saw meme ones. Well, bugger. No, not a skeleton emote, Tony Allen. Although, the flick rip one could be redone to be uh, a skeleton, I guess. As long as it's still implied rip to be used when I die in a video game. Aha! I circumvented your challenge room game! Oh, another silver ring. Don't mind if I do, there's more attack and more int. So it's just more damage in general. So I missed... I'll go back and check the other way path down first. There's a lot more to this area, I'm glad I came back. You feel open to learning. XP increase. It's gotta be. A doink and what? Tonic recipe. I've come up with a new recipe. But I have no one to give it to. Actually, no, maybe the old lady will take it. Get stunned. Could be just a skull with your avatars here magically glued onto it. That as well, yeah, I guess so. I don't know, what game has had like a a goof, goofy type of oh god kind of death thing? May have to eat that tart. Learning scroll permanently increases a random attribute. Sure. I don't know what it gave me more of, but it gave me more of something. Not a secret room. So when do you think the Isaac streak ended? Or do you think it hasn't yet? In comparison to my previous best, let's say. Which I don't quite remember what it was. Is that all this area? Yeah, next room along. Silly. Our 
it could just be a picture of a ledge. No! For two reasons. One, nobody would get it, and two, ledges suck. The lurking one, the lurking idea I like a lot. The, like, some kind of loot-ish one, maybe to replace Fabulous. Maybe, depending on how it's done. It can't push Twitch's boundaries, let's put it that way. Oh no, I did do this room, it's just we can't clear it. Thank you, Lana, for gifting a tier 1 sub to Nikki 74 Did you just get the, in there and stop him resubbing? Because Nikki was a sub. So that is this area done now. Don't you run away from me. The list. Those are doing 11 each now, that's pretty good. I read to get a heal, so I don't need to waste that. There might be some kind of like harder version of the boss waiting for me in here. I ain't ready. No, of course not. We need the dream nail for that first. It's already been over an hour. Wow, it has. scared one? Yeah, I don't think we have one to convey scared, do we? Or what is it called when, like, anime characters, they kind of are scared, but it's more like a mixture of scared and shocked? You know, where they have, like, those lines and they kind of look like the scream painting? Would that be good? I have no idea what that's called. But I've seen it in many an anime and manga. So, I didn't miss anything down there. Purely this way for progress now. That's gross. Gross things die at range. Stop spawning things, it's gross. Especially when they hurt. Snake. Snake died in one hit. I flick OK for one punch. Don't you mean KO? Die, 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 die. Okay, it died. Horrible thing. It's probably best conveyed as nanny. Yeah, that kind of thing. Oh, and yeah, okay, when One Punch Man has the okay expression, I've seen that meme. And now I know I'm with you now. My bad. I have that kind of reaction when, like, for instance, we're playing a game like Dark Souls and the boss is you know, being like big and flashy, I just kind of stand there. That's the kind of facial expression I imagine my character having. Like, yep, okay. You're you're a big man in armor, all right. Don't know if I want to fall down here yet, so let's just have a little gander through here first. Ooh, don't know if I want to do a jumping puzzle just yet, let's just jump down to hell. Speaking of hell, this is going to be hell to get back up this. Oh! Are they cross-eyed or do they just have like a mask on? Or a black eye? Hi there, I'm Ash, one of the miners here. Thanks for helping me out. I have a feeling the mines are going to be out of service for some time, but luckily I have been learning the art of bre- Oh! She gets the potion recipe. This could give me a chance to really hone my skills. I'm going to head back to the tavern now and get started. All right. So maybe we can start making like proper health potions instead of relying on fairly rare food drops. My avatar is all my flower bike. No, an all my one would make me too sad. I really like all my, but it, his role is dad might now. 
Optimus, sorry, All Might is Optimus Prime for a new generation. And I'm glad people will see him as such. Oh, this is getting trickier. Okay, I just wanted to test I could do that without it stabbing me. Why do you have red faces? What are you different? Well, you have a hell of a lot more HP, I'll give you that. Hmm. They've got to do something different. Maybe just more damage or fire damage? Ugh. Can I make that jump? I can. Got to kind of do it as a one or a little... No. Thank goodness the lava only does three damage. You'd think it would do more. I keep on treating it like a... Oh, I can't jump up there. It stifles your jump. I keep on treating it like a wall jump and it's not. You have to hold so that you do a side jump. Chain hood. One less attack for one more defense, one less int, and one less constitution. No. I think the thing I bought is better. With the ending of the first episode of what? I, I missed something. I still haven't watched One Punch Man. I do keep meaning to. I've seen, like, clips. Uh, let's try up the way first. Ultra Beast is talking about an anime. Asobi Osabase? Never heard of it. Care about these. Ooh. This looks interesting. It's full of zombies. Much like my stomach. See, you don't activate the spikes. That's a handy skill. What do I have to do to get that? And the enemies, cheese, and the enemies. Ooh, I got a crit hit with the knife there. War club. Ooh, that's quite a big damage increase. Oh, and it's a small weapon, so it strikes faster. Couldn't have been a great sword. I would have accepted a great sword. Well, a long sword. Let's see, what kind of reach is this? Looks like it's got slightly longer reach. No, actually no. I'd say that is the same, it's just a slightly different slashing animation. Alright, as much as I'd prefer using a sword, the club is just flat out bare, so we'll stick with that. that last jump? I feel like I can, I just messed it up. Like the jump from that stabbing platform to that one. Let's try that again. Oh, you're late. Time to go clubbing. As long as you mean to like a nightclub and not anything involving baby seals. Because I can't do that again. Or at all. Good, we made a save point. We have missed areas back the way, but that's fine. 
We have to return anyway to explore more. What is that? Huh. It vanished. Then it reappeared again. I don't much care for these spooky things. Didn't the first one of them I ran into die in one knife? Something must have wounded it before I hit it. Those skeletons have boomerangs! I found a tomb of dead Australians! Need more mana. Actually, do I have any items that increase mana? Unknown unknowns there. Blah. Oh, good spiders. It's a pretty big place. So yeah, it's been almost two hours. We're almost at swap over time in another 20-30 minutes. What are your first impressions of Chasm? Oh! That was entirely accidental. Good to know though. It's fun I'd say do a series on it, I like it. Well. Oh. What if I told you I'm currently doing a series on it by recording this at this very moment? I, I don't have really like room for another 20-30 minute episode series, so I was thinking just do long vods of me playing it on stream now and then. I feel like this is a game because there isn't as much of a a vibe to it, a succinctness that Hollow Knight has, it's less apt for uh, just me on my lonesome recording it without input. Everyone knows you should eat all the food you find in random jars in ancient mines. Well that and all the medkits that someone puts in there for Lara Croft. Which is a joke I am stealing wholesale from Discworld Noir. There's something down here. I can't quite get a good look at it. Boomerang Skellington! Thunder stick of yours has gone and boomeranged on us. Ooh. Oh, hello there. This place is incredible. I've learned more about the Lidori, Landori in the last hour than I have in the past year. Many artifacts are buried here among the dead, but this one is the most intriguing. These inscriptions say that Ulak ordered the Shimin to move his people underground. The inner tribe turns its attention to the construction of the temple you see in this carving. It goes on to say that countless generations of Landori died during the construction of the temple. The remains were placed in these catacombs to wait to the age of darkness when they would rise again. If only they built this temple where... Oh wait, if they built this temple, where could it be? That was the wrong inclination of my first attempt of reading that as you could possibly get. And why was it so important? Please, continue on without me and see what else you can find. I will catch up to you when I finish here. Yeah, about you standing on that bloody platform, though. We did miss something back there and up. I have a feeling it might be a save room or something, so I'm just going to go check. I knew it was coming back, and yeah, I still just stood there and let it hit me in the back of the head. They have little capes. The snake did spit at me, yes. Finishing the series would be better wording, yeah. 
It depends how varied it gets. I, I was reading some first impressions from people on Reddit and the Steam Store page, and it does say the first hour and a half is a little on the slower side until you start getting more abilities. But that's like Metroidvania to a T, honestly. Like, when you start Hollow Knight and all you can do is jump and attack normally, it's not exactly thrilling. But once you start getting more movement and as a result the bosses can be more challenging, it starts getting a lot more interesting. It makes up for it though by having a much better vibe. The, vi the vibe so far in Chasm is a little more generic, I think. The next room is not a save room, I will heal. Uh, this looks like some kind of mini boss. An airplane for a feather in the dust. Never mind. Can't go this way yet. Okay, got them unlocked as well. I think they throw them up first to try and stop you just running away. Oh, God damn it. Well, now that you've hit me, we must it fight. Was worth it! Thank you, Lana, for gifting a tier 1 subscription to Mongol Vikings. Mongol, I think. Ow. <laughs> yes, let's pretend we have a lurker mode already. Oh, we have ourselves a shortcut back. Time to check in at town. I still don't have any abilities to get anything that we missed here, if, I think. Because we would need some kind of wall breaking thing or double jump. Alright, potion lady, take my recipe. It's good to see you again. When I'm not working down in the mines, I help Ethel out by running the bar. I think I have a knack for it, but only without uh, but without any recipes it's hard to improve. If you can find some recipes for me, I can make new potions to help you out. Please let me know if you come across any. I have some. Wow, you found a tonic recipe. Now I can make potions that will restore your MP. Oh, I wanted HP. Oh, she has them. 150 gold for a single potion? Are you mad? Is this Darkest Dungeon? Ugh. Ugh. The Doomsday talk Clock is still ticking. That's very true, it is. No, we haven't found your Book of Incantations yet. Sorry, lady. So we could try a different spell. Spell for magical throwing stars. Yes, I will take my weeb sticks, thank you. Oh, they throw up? Hmm, I wonder if they lock on. Well, I can always change back to the knives if they're not very good. I don't know if I want to sell those like ingots and stuff because it sounds like they'll be like those will probably be used by the blacksmith when I find them, and that'll probably be used by the chef. These I don't know. She doesn't have anything super amazing to buy yet, anyway. No, I'm always subscribed to my channel. That's why you can't give me a subscription to my own channel. Thank you for thinking of me, though. It would be weird if the streamer had to pay Twitch money of which they got a cut anyway to <laughs> have their own emotes. Right, so. That's a shortcut. Oh, what is this? Oh, you've got to input a code. The hint was probably in that thing I just picked up. I don't know which one I got. Was it this one? I'm looking for any kind of dates. I've cracked a lot of locks in my time, but I've never seen anything like this. Perhaps we should just pull the lever and find out what happens. 
Okay. It's gonna open that pit and make me drop into it. Hmm. Pay twenty two dollars fifty. For the record, partners get what on earth are you? Partners get a higher split than that on higher tier subscriptions. Yeah, I can't hit anything with these magic shurikens. Why on earth are they shooting into the space? The space, you know, the space. Is that cart from my first XCOM 2 War of the Chosen playthrough? US sub is five dollars, that is correct. And it is recurring monthly if you use a normal subscription. Twitch Prime does not automatically renew, so if you choose to use it on me once, you can use it on someone else if you prefer next time. Hmm. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen, god damn it. I'm just going to go back over here. Those things worry me. There is enough time, I think. I can't grab this ledge, though. There. I don't think I can make that jump, though. That was a terrible timing. Oh no, I can. Oh, hello. You're like a Templar. Hmm. Jumping over strats are pretty strong in the early game, it feels like. of bones. Come down here so I can actually jump over you, please. Critical hit. 39 damage. What the hell is Altair doing here? Don't worry, it's not him. It's just a skeleton. Warp scroll will take you back to the town, presumably? Yeah. Wish I'd had more of them sooner. make that jump? I tried to do like a half jump, but I don't think it worked. Ah, there we go. Someone subbed or was gifted a sub while I'm doing a jumping puzzle. That's against the rules. Thank you, Lana, for gifting a tier 1 sub to Kalalak. Enjoy my moats for a month, courtesy of Alana. Is that your 100th? No, 98th. Jeez. That is a lot of gifted subs. Drake and I split up and look for clues. I discovered a fruit. I'm looking for a code. It's not a code. That's a bork. Can't get back up there. Or maybe we can? Hmm, antidotes. Oh good, that means there's poison enemies. Thanks, you've lurked the entire stream and then you got caught. You got the infuriating note from a red chest and a mirror. That sucks. Why would you jump? You jump for the Templars, not for them. I'm gonna need you to come over here, young man. Or just accept your damage, I suppose that's fine. Hmm, they give a lot of XP. That was 
this is the worst possible timing. Yes, yeah, so down here. We have some missed stuff back the way though. We don't know for sure if this is the right way, however. It looks like they're wearing a waistcoat. I hate them. They're weird. Ah, they act like the first boss. So they're like no skin windigos. Star stick of yours is boomeranged on us. Ah, you look like a blacksmith to me. Dom. Thanks for helping me, friend. I'm Dom, the local blacksmith. I wish I could help you clear out these corridors, but I'm better at making swords than wielding them. Stop by my shop in Carthus sometime. I will give you a nice deal and some new equipment. I'm thinking I should use the warp scroll to go back now and see about getting my equipment upgraded. Maybe I'll check what's down this path on the right here, just unless I get smacked a lot in this corridor. again. Hang on. You just stay over there. It's fine. No, 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 no. It's like fighting a meat on berserker in melee combat. No. 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 This room is actually harder to get through on the way back because of the way they're facing. Which is the direct opposite of the room type we had of this before. Wait, I want to go down here. Yes. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> By Snake. Oh, wait. oh! Hello, spooky ghost with a wheel. Is this Polunky? Thank you, Lana, for gifting us your one subscription to Ransgard. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, step right up and spin the wheel of fate. This wheel is for those who like to put it all on the line. But be careful. Just like life, it doesn't always come up roses. Will you spin the wheel of fate? Yes. Good luck. Oh, was I supposed to hold the button? Hmm. I was spamming it. Maximum MP plus two. All right. We've got ourselves a winner! Dick Brickman here. It seems Lady Luck was on your side this time. Perhaps we'll cross paths again. Now it's playing spooky music. Hmm. Weird. Gonna pass over that snake's head if you don't mind. This is this is suspiciously. Em oh, it's some kind of horrifying bat demon that shoots fireballs. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to town now and hand in my new recipe, etc. Give me weapons to fight a bat. Well, friend, are you up for a mission? I have some equipment up for sale, but I can't create anything new. Those creatures took my forging hammer when they raised the town. It was given to me by my father when I began smithing, and I promised to always use it. That seems like a really stupid excuse for not making me better stuff. Once my hammer has been recovered, I can craft new items for material we should find. Keep your eyes open and let me know if you find it. Selling a bandana, which is not good. Ooh, a broadsword. That's weaker? Really? Saber? Although these are very expensive. Push dagger? A deadly palm sized blade that protrudes from the fist. It's Assassin's Creed. Probably super short range though. You read that as banana. Also, hello, Kurt. Hmm. 
Hmm, I'm just debating whether or not I should... I, surely the topaz and rubies are just for selling. Surely they are. Yeah, I didn't mean to press that. I meant to press sell. But we don't need our starting armour. I don't want the chain hood. Don't want that. I will hold on to them. Apparently I can't sell the topaz to him though. Can I sell them to you? No, you don't need to Google anything, it's fine. Oh great, you found the antidote recipe. Now I can make a potion that will cure poisoning. Well, at least they're cheap, relatively speaking. It's a smug off. <laughs> I would say the smug emote looks more smug than that other, other emote. Alright, I'd like to go take a stab at that bat monster before we stop and swap over. I did save it there, right? I hope so. Christ, it's a long way to get to it though. I would guess it's probably guarding a shark. Oh, we know this is. Never mind, it's not very far to get to it at all. Ah, that's the shortcut you open up after you've killed it. And you'll probably get the code for this from killing it. Alright, let's go shoot a bunch of throwing knives at that big flying bat monster. attack I think. Never mind. Oh you can hit them out of the air. Bone devil. I've got your bone devil right here. It's my version of the well what is it? Called the bone devil. Copywritten of me. This is up to the shortcut. Why didn't that grab hold? I know I'm missing these side passages, I just want to get the shortcut open first. Presumably there is a uh, something with the code down here though. I'm just obeying because of my health, but we'll risk it. Um Oh. Pocket Watch inscribed with the name Felix Farron. We've heard that name, I think it was in the the books. I don't remember for what reason. Wait, apparently I missed a way up on the right. No, 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 that's if you open up the, the locked door. Ah! The Dark Souls and what? But what about once I finish playing through the trilogy? That'll be basically gone. I saved the miner. I spoke to the two miners I saved. Didn't I? Or did I save a third one? Because one of them became the potion seller, the other one became the gambler. The skeleton drunk all his friends to death. And then a crow watched. It kept on saying never more for some reason. Because it felt like it was being clever, but really it was just a tired reference everyone's sick of. Smack you with my club, my war club. It's for going to war. 
It does crackles every so often. Is Nabal broken? If you don't have contempt for Nightbot, you could use the new emote instead. Oh, flesh human. No. Yes. I'm wearing a tux. Ow, my brain. White. Okay. done with you yet. Carl, would you like to join us for Killing Floor 2 when we swap over? Nightbot is under a lot of stress right now. I see the switch up there. Seems a bit suspicious though, doesn't it? Oh, do I need this block? Uh, oh yeah, I need the block on top of it. I pushed it the wrong way then. I think I might be boned. Yeah, I'm boned. I need the room to reset. I need to push it down from the right. Is this the Dark Souls of Metroidvania? No, this is just Castlevania so far. More or less. It's got a lot more in common with Castlevania and... Well... It is a Metroidvania. It has Metroid in there too. But Hollow Knight feels more like Dark Souls. So then I want to push it there. Push it to the left. Push it to the right and then push it to the left. Simple as that. Wait, I may have miscalculated. How are you supposed to get it across if you can't shove it from this side? Hmm. Was I supposed to, at the last second, when it was up here, push it down here? Oh, ooh, ooh. Let's not discuss that. No, I don't think you can pull, you can only push. Uh, it's You're supposed to do the other side at the last second. It's on purpose. It was not an accident that you're supposed to do it that way. Maybe if you find some kind of ring later on, you can pull it a la Zelda style. Down we go. This game is called Chasm, Jake. I did a video on it five years ago. Oh, a shortcut. Nice. That's actually a perfect place to kind of wrap this first session of Chasm up. Maybe I have to go back over here. Whoop. Shortcuts be shortcutting. I'll go talk to the foreman, see if the watch is his. Or whatever this guy's position was. He's got a golden turd on his desk. Oh, you found Dom? Thank goodness, I don't know what we'd do without him. Without his skill at the forge, this town would be a hole in the ground. No, but do you want this watch? It's good to hear Narina is back. She hasn't been in town very long, but she's one of us all the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. The pocket watch ain't his. Wait, it's one of the bandits. Felix Farn, there we go. Notorious duo are wanted for crimes of the kingdom. So they fled into the mines and he died in the cage, I guess. God knows what we're supposed to do with the pocket watch then. I'll just hold on to it and see what happens. 
Hello Trenton, hello Exponjuck. Sadly you just made it in time for us to swap away from Chasm, but that was fun. I want to continue with it, see where it goes. I have heard that the intro was a little slow, so if this is still just the slow part of the game, I look forward to getting to the fast bit. 